in our area are homeless. And the Committee on Temporary Shelters serves says that while the economy has started to recover, the demand for their services has stayed the same. WPTZ's Rachel Cars is live in the newsroom with more on a massive effort today to help COTS support some of the neediest in our area. Rachel. Jared, last year, COTS helped 204 families who were at risk of becoming homeless all through a variety of outreach programs. Today, the organization raised nearly $200,000 to help many more families in the years to come. Nearly 2,000 people laced up and hit the streets in the Queen City. The walk is about raising funds, but it's, a, it's about raising that level of awareness in the community and, and giving people a chance to show they care. The 26th annual COTS Walk tackled more than just three miles of Burlington streets. It provides services across the board through prevention to helping um, kids in shelter to helping veterans. So this is our core funding to make sure we can do all the things that we creatively try to do to help end homelessness. Last fall, there were 172 homeless children in Chittenden County alone. We work closely with schools and the homeless liaisons and the teachers um, because we really try to make sure that these kids do not, that they are not forgotten, that they don't slip through the cracks. Oftentimes, it's teachers who notice the warning signs first. Teachers are often unsung heroes in the world, and they know the issue of homelessness probably better than most. Teachers like Sarah Horton, who walked for the first time this year. Students who don't have a good breakfast or a good lunch don't have what it takes to keep their brains focused. And so it's really important to work to provide food, clothing, and shelter. The Benefit Walk visits various resource locations in the city. The math teacher from Stowe High School says it was an eye opening experience. Most of the time, you just walk on pavement, you collect your money. This, you experience what it feels like when you're walking slowly through the um, city of Burlington and seeing all these different um, locations. If you couldn't make it out today but still want to donate, there will be a link to the donation site on our website at WPTZ.com. Live in the newsroom tonight, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. All right, thanks, Rachel.